Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 2. And things are just still going absolutely insane for us in League 2. I, I literally, I don't know why we're doing so well, how it's happening, but we, we're, we're honestly... League two so easy. So since you were last here for the Berry and Boston game, we lost to Berry and the win against Boston. Uh, we played quite a few games and won quite a few games as well. We had a pretty tight game against Stevenage, 4-3 in the end. We went 3-1 up before they brought it back to 3 all. but then Mark Mason in the 79th minute scored a goal, which made sure we sealed the victory there with three points on the board, which was really nice to see. We then played away to Stockport County, a 3-1 win there with Russell, Mason and Coley picking up the, the goals there. They had a man sent off as well, which made it a lot easier for us as well. So that was a pretty decent result. Filed were up next in the league, playing them at home. Tony Russell and Mark Mason with the goals there to make sure we win it 2-0. Before we then played three games in a row and lost three games in a row. Uh, Checker Trade Trophy against Rochdale, lost that 2-1. That means we're out of the Checker Trade Trophy now as well, which is a bit unfortunate, but it wasn't really too much of a big issue. We weren't really bothered about this competition. We then went and played Cambridge at home in a game where we were just awful. We really didn't do anything. Uh, we went one up actually through an own goal by their players, but then they scored three um, in the game with no reply. So they won it 3-1 in what is... That was an awful game, really. That's that, This is the kind of performance I expected from us all season. But really, we've been absolutely superb for 99% of this season so far. We followed up with another loss, a 2-1 loss to Wiccan Wanderers. And I thought, ah, oh, is this when the season's going to turn around now? Are we actually going to lose some games? No, we came back and beat Plymouth 3-2 in the league. They came back late into it thinking we might actually concede a third there. But we managed to do it enough earlier on in the game to make sure we won it. And then last time out, a 2-1 win over Absolute United. They scored in the 90th minute, so it wasn't really anything to worry about too much. But with Mason and Masters scoring the goals... We picked up another three points. What that means is we sit top of the table on 32 points with three games in hand, which is ridiculous. Three games in hand. We've been very, very lucky, actually, I've got to say, because if you see here, Wimbledon and Shrewsbury, who are point behind us, have both drawn seven games this season, which is a lot of teams actually around us have drawn a lot of games where we've just been able to see out the victory in a lot of these games. So we have been good, to be fair. We've not scored as many goals as some of the other teams, but we haven't conceded, in fact, only... Luton and Crew have conceded less than us this season. So we are doing pretty decent in terms of in terms of our defensive shape and our and going forward we're pretty good as well. I don't really expect us to stay here. I don't think we're going to stay top. I mean we are we've got 3 games in hand and we're a point clear. So potentially we could go 10 points clear at the top if we won those games in hand. I don't know how we're doing it and I fully expect us still to sort of collapse and and bring and you know start to fall down the table a little bit because I just don't understand how we can maintain this or why we're doing it in the first place. Either way though, we are in an absolutely fantastic position. I'm not complaining, but I I expect to struggle this season and as much as I enjoy winning games, it's probably not the most entertaining thing for you to see us have three successive promotions and it I don't feel like that's re that's realistic in a way. I mean, I know Boston did it in this save. They had three back-to-back um, -back promotions in a row. I just don't think it's that entertaining for you to always watch us winning. I'd like to see us actually struggle for once. So may maybe I should just sell some good players. That might be something to do. Either way, coming up today are Cheltenham in 6th and Wigan in 13th. So some decent sides. Wigan really should not be in League 2, but they're, they're here in League 2, so hopefully we pick up a nice win against them. We've also drawn York as well in the FA Cup first round. They're in the league below us. Hopefully it will be a routine win. If we played as well as we have done so far this season, that really should be a win. Joe Howe's been out for a little while. He's had a lower back stress fracture he's been out for seven weeks total he's out for another three weeks now so we have missed him he was just i think he got injured in a training session actually which was even more annoying uh douglas has also been out with a groin strain he's out for another three weeks or so and then dan happy will miss today's first game against cheltenham uh, as he's pulled abdominal muscles he's out for another day at least so those three injuries they're for key players as well which is a bit annoying what it does mean is we do have to have a slightly different lineup today. Uh, we've got White and Gold still. He's still better than Jed Andrew. Jed Andrew still plays the cup games, but he's just not doing enough in those cup games to warrant a first team place yet, as far as I'm aware, at least. So White stays in goal with a backline of Turiak, Wakeley, Carroll coming in for Dan Happy and Atkinson at right back. Bowley stays in that CDM position, although when he has played there, Lee Masters has played particularly well in the CDM position. So watch out for him, maybe break into the first team fully later on in the season. Uh, Broccoli's doing very well, and then Belcher's coming in for the injured Joe Howell. Coley on the left with Tony Russell on the right. And of course, Mark Mason still playing up front, still scoring plenty of goals for us. He has scored eight in 15 league appearances, which is not bad going, I've got to say. I'm impressed with that. Four assists as well. He's already broken his assist record. Um, he's not very good at assists, but seems to be all right this season. The man to watch out for, though, 
Coley. He has played phenomenally well this season. Also with eight goals in 15 appearances and got three assists. So he's almost, almost as good. In fact, he's probably better, to be fair, than Mason this season because Mason's the main goal scorer. He's the striker. It's Coley, who's not meant to be scoring goals, who's getting them as well. Either way, that's the lineup. We're playing Cheltenham today at home. Hopefully, we pick up another win. Hopefully, we get six points in today's episode and hopefully, Mark Mason scores two hat-tricks. Right then, kickoff is upon us here today. I have also worked out as well why we have so many games in hand. Obviously, we're playing at Central Bank this, this season because our new stadium's being built. And of course, sometimes we have to play home games when Lincoln City would have home games. And because it's Lincoln City and the stadium, they get priority. So sometimes on a Saturday, our game just gets like moved or cancelled because Lincoln City are playing there instead of us. So that's why we've got quite a few games in hand. And actually, by the looks of things, we're one of the only few teams to be playing today. So today is one of our games in hand that we are playing as uh, we've had a free kick saved by the looks of things. But I think that was the highlight because the highlight's is continuing ball put forward Wakely gives it away to be fair and here come Cheltenham coming forward unopposed surely that was offside and they've won a corner I thought that was about to be given a penalty but I thought there was offside in the process there the corner comes in for Cheltenham Kemp puts it in and it's not been cleared and again we've had to put it behind for another corner is there a goal coming at the end of this highlight it's been quite a long one with two corners Wakely clears again only as far as Cheltenham players there was Kemp on the ball, puts it in. We just can't seem to get rid of it. White does collect the ball. And, and was that what the highlight was for? Because nothing really seems to be like a clear-cut chance there for anyone. I do still find it weird, though, that the the most difficult season we've ever had was our first season in the Evo Stick Northern Premier. That was really difficult, that first season. We nearly got relegated there, to be fair. We had a really tough season. But since then, we I've got to say, for the past three seasons, well, the two and a half season, including this one, we've been absolutely phenomenal. Another huge attendance from our home fans as well, to be fair. 1,100 of our own home fans coming today, which is really, really good. Of course, the new stadium's going to be about 5,500, I believe. So, I mean, I don't think we're going to be filling it anytime soon. But it's nice to have that kind of capacity as Mason hits the crossbar. We're getting closer and closer. As you can see from the stats, we are dominating proceedings right now. Cheltenham not really getting much of a look in at all. I think we have been unlucky, to be fair, with some of these chances we've created. I, we do need to probably get some more attacking midfielders because there's no one to back up Coley. When he's tired, he's, he's just got to play because no one there to back him up, really. Um, Adeyemi, who's not really shown any kind of performance so far this season. He scored one goal in the Cup, I think, in one of the Checker Trade Trophy games and really didn't do all that much. We're going to bring him on now for Mason just because Mason's not played particularly well today, unfortunately. And uh, to be fair, neither does Bowley. So I think we maybe bring on Lee Masters for him in that CDM position because Masters has played pretty well so far this season when he has played. Free kick for us. Turiak on the edge of the area. Oh, he just puts it well. We are dangerous from free kicks. I think we've Mason scored a few. I know Turiak scored a few as well. Masters has scored one as well. We do have some good free kick takers in the squad and we do make the most of them so far this season, I've got to say. I don't think we've done that so far in the past, to be fair. But this season, we have done pretty well. We seem to be getting all our free kick luck this season. Today, though, despite 22 shots with seven on target, don't think we are going to be getting much luck today. We've played phenomenally well creating the chances, but their keeper must have been on fire. Although Turiak, with perhaps one last chance to put the ball in, headed away, cleared. And I think that is going to be at that unless Cheltenham can score one right. If they score one right at the end, they'll be so cross. Or can we score one as Coley puts the ball forward to Adeyemi? Didn't really do much with it, unfortunately. And I think as the ball is cleared and there's only 10 seconds or so left on the clock, that is going to be that as it goes out for a throw and the referee won't let anything else happen. Surely he's going to blow the whistle now. He does blow the whistle. We've picked up a clean sheet, which is good. We've just failed to put the ball in the back of the net despite 22 shots. And I think that's one of the best shots ratios that we've had all season. So to not score is a bit unlucky. Cheltenham sixth as well in the league, I've just noticed. I didn't realise they were so high up from the table. I mean, it just goes to show how well we've been playing this season that we walk all over Cheltenham and they're sixth. So now two points clear with two games in hand over Wimbledon and Shrewsbury. It is, it's, we are looking really comfortable this season. I'm really pleased 
Cambridge are, they've only got, we only got one game in hand on Cambridge. So potentially Cambridge actually could go ahead of us in the table if we lose both of ours. Cambridge win their game in hand but obviously we'll come to that when we get there midweek game for the I think the Wigan game must be one of our games in hand as well if that's a midweek game at home that must be one of the games in hand that we've got Adeyemi though did play in the under 23 games today and score two goals so he seems to be able to do it for the under 23s despite being 24 years old but uh can't really do it for us so far this season he scored one in the cup to be fair he's only had three appearances in the league so I can't really be too cross with him but he has got four goals in two appearances for the under 23s so where's that happening why can't he do that in league two and another injury now agu out for two to three weeks with some sort of pectoral strain he's he's done he's trying to do too much on the bench to impress the girls the bench press has gone wrong he's tried to do too much can't do it and now he's out for two to three weeks because he's, he's he's hurt himself what what a silly man all right he's on the oh, he's on the bench as well because he's He's, he's a backup player for the right-hand side now that Douglas Hurst is injured. So it's... Come on, Agu. Ah, his strength actually only 10. So he's not benching 100 kilos. Maybe 30 if he's lucky with 10 strength. That is that is pretty bad. Right then, um, how fit is Dan Happy? So we, yeah, I think he looks all right. Let's bring him on back for Carroll instead, I think. Just because I, just because I want to get Dan Happy back on the pitch. I love him to bits. So he needs to play... Uh, we haven't really got any other attackers to put on the bench in place of Agu. So, uh, Gordon is going to come on the bench. So, as long as we don't get injuries up to our, you know, in our players in the attack, we'll be fine. Other than that, actually, to be fair, I'm happy to keep the team the exact same. So, let's submit that, go to the game, hopefully pick up another three points. Actually, we didn't pick up three points for the last game, did we? We should have done, but we did. let's hope we pick up the first three points of today's episode and the fourth overall right then once again kickoff is upon us i think luton are playing tonight as well luton and wickham are playing but they are nowhere near us so they're not affecting us right now we need to win today's game to make sure we are a few points clear of wimbledon shrewsbury and cambridge and cheltenham to be fair they're all starting to to catch up a little bit i've got to say although to be fair i, I do forget that we have games in hand and if we do, do well in these games in hand we would have a bit of an unassailable lead early on in this season not to say, you know, it's still early enough for us to completely bottle it and get relegated. So it's still a long way to go. But to be, to be fair, to be fair to Wigan there, that was a superb goal. I was just about to say, actually, you know, we may have had a superb start to the season. It all could go wrong. But because we've had such a superb start to the season, I can't really imagine why things would go so wrong that, you know, we'd drop out of playoffs. I mean, we, I'd like to think at this stage of the season, nearly 20 games in, oh, Mason just puts it wide. At nearly 20 games in this season and we're top of the table, I'd like to assume that we'd stay within the top seven at, at least at this stage now. Free kick for us then. Let's get back into this game as Bowley puts it in, cleared, and only as far actually as the Wigan players and they clear it up. So Atkinson just plays it down to Turiak and Turiak plays it into Dan Happy who's coming back from his little injury that he had as Russell with a chance to maybe put the ball in. Doesn't do it yet. Belcher out to Atkinson. Back to Belcher who puts the ball in. Mason is there. He puts it in the back of the net for his ninth of the season, which is really, really good. Belcher with another assist when he's been playing as well. When he does play, he does like to get an assist or two. So he is decent there. Highlight straight from kickoff. So hopefully we turn this one all draw now into a 2-1 lead, which would be good. Although Wigan are side coming forward with the ball still coming forward with the ball actually to be fair. let's get the tackle in then Lincoln come on lads get the tackle in there and score a goal don't want to see us go 2-1 down straight away as Wigan still coming forward a great ball over and they have gone 2-1 up straight away that's you hate to see that I mean I don't want to say anything or suggest anything to you guys but last season the team played really well on camera constantly this season, well, it's it's a little bit different, I've got to say. A little bit different. We've not played as... We, we played woefully on camera this season. Actually, apart from the first game of the season, which we won, that was really good. It's a superb save from White there, to be fair. Um, but since then, we've not played overly well on camera. Although, coming forward on the counter-attack, oh, I thought we might be able to have a chance there. Unfortunately, not. Changes do need to be made. The issue is... Um, we haven't really got anyone to bring on in the attacking positions. I think maybe we drop to the 4-4-2, maybe. Maybe we do this. Russell can kind of... I mean, these guys can kind of play in these positions. If we swap those around, do they like that a little bit better? Not really. We'll leave it like that. Uh, what we will do is we'll move 
take Coley off of Turiak. And then we'll bring on Sweeney for Coley at left back. Uh, of course, Bowley has to come off for Adeyemi. He's going to come on as a pressing forward. No, he doesn't like that. Let's make him a deep line forward on support. There are two changes that we'll make for now. Hopefully this 4-4-2 will just maybe help us a little bit. We have played well. We have used the 4-4-2 once or twice this season when we've not been playing particularly well in games. And it has seemed to turn things in our favour a little bit. As um, we have, I don't know, just maybe just the extra striker just helps out a little bit. We are losing possession right now, though, as Wigan look to come forward on the ball right now. Kareem on the ball, back to Loxa, uh, into Woods. A really nice passing play from Wigan, to be fair. And I don't know why they're so far down the Football League pyramid, let alone down in 11th, as things stand right now in League 2. I feel like they should be a lot higher up, especially the way they've played today against us. They've done quite well. Once again, Wigan coming forward pretty unopposed. Like No one's going for the tackle there, and they shoot from distance, and White can collect it pretty easily. Hopefully, we're going to build from that, but no, we're not going to build from that. Come on, lads. What's going on here today? With 10 minutes to go, I'm not really too sure what I can do to change, change the fortunes. We'll bring Hall on for Broccoli in that advanced playmaking position, but I don't think it's going to do much. I don't think Hall's going to come on and change this game completely. And as the clock does tick down, looks like we're going to pick up our fourth, fourth, fourth league loss of the season, to be fair, which is a few now, to be fair, I've got to say. Um, that's as many as Lincoln City have lost in real life in the league. Um, four games, which actually for Lincoln City on the 40 game mark to only lose four is, is pretty decent, to be fair. Uh, we're looking like we're going to have our fourth loss of the season. Now, now is this going to be the turnaround? Because actually our form recently, if you look at the past five games, five, if you look at the past six games, we've lost three, won two, drawn one. And that kind of form isn't good. Maybe now we are starting to turn the corner and perhaps this opening part of the season, which was really fantastic and has put it on top of the table... This bit of recent form from, from Rochdale on, and that's not a league game to be fair. So if we go from Cambridge on, the past six games hasn't been fantastic form at all. We've got two league games or two cup games now to try and change things a little bit and just try and get some confidence back into the boys. But games against Wimbledon in second, Luton 13th, Salford 18th. I mean, okay, we've got some, we've got lucky games. Apart from the Wimbledon game, we've got some teams that are relatively far down the table. I can't really decide what I want to do next episode. Um can't really to be fair i've got to record tomorrow morning uh because i'm playing golf all day tomorrow so i want to get something tomorrow morning done uh so i need to play some games tonight so however far i get tonight is how far we'll go for tomorrow's episode so it, it could be the Salford game for example i don't know how far i'll get it could be down at crew you never know so we'll just see how far i get so thank you very much for watching today's episode i hope you have enjoyed it if you have done make sure you do drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with notification bells turned on so you never miss a video and I'll see you next time for some more Lincoln Loco action.